The AI industry growing 37% year over year in upcoming 10 years. And AI product managers getting paid about 20% higher than traditional product managers. A lot of people are trying to break into AI, especially generative AI space. However, most people wasn't able to make it happen. It just stays as a dream for them. So I decide to talk to hybrid managers at OpenAI, Google, Meta, and Amazon, and really dive into details regarding what it takes for people to really become a generative AI product manager. And I found out the only three ways to become a generative AI product manager with a step-by-step -step guide and blueprint. And all the three ways I share with you today have been used by people who are successfully become a Gen AI product manager at OpenAI and Google Meta and all other tier one company as well as hot AI startups. And I guarantee you one of those three ways is going to make you a successful generative AI product manager. Also make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you the secret number three. It's a shortcut to generative AI but most people do not do and it's quite simple. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product featured in Forbes. I've helped thousands of people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startups and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about free product management training and tech trends and like and subscribe. Check out new video every Tuesday. When I started my product management career, I launched my first AI product in 2017 and the product also received the Mayor's Best Practice Award in 2017. But now fast forward in today's era, everybody wants to become AI and then with all the ChatGPT, Gemini innovation nowadays and the entire AI landscape have changed dramatically. If you look up any product management job opening right now, and actually there are lots of generative AI product management positions out there. However, you look up the JD, majority of the requirement are you need someone already have three years AI experience. But it's to everyone's surprise, the Gen AI is only two years old because JetGPT was invented two years ago. So there's a lot of demand in the industry to hire the talent, but not everybody had all the experience and job description always asks for really high bar. But there's a good news. I already used the following three ways to help people already land the Gen AI product manager job offer in Google, Meta, Amazon, NVIDIA, and currently helping someone preparing for the final round interview at OpenAI. So I know exactly what the hiring manager is looking for and why you are not able to make it. So now let's dive into the first way to become a Gen AI product manager. The first strategy designed for current product managers and trying to break into generative AI space in a new company. A new company could be a hot startup or those tier one and large tech companies working on AI. Now let me give you some specific inspiration so that you know what kind of background more better fit for you. For example, we have student Kim. She was a program manager, product manager with marketing and PR background. Uh, she became head of product in an AI startup called InfluencerCloud.ai. We also have students with program manager background like Zhi Yang and joined Meta as ads as Gen AI as product manager. And Charles, he was layoff PM and then joined Google as a Gen AI product manager, as well as Hadika, she's a director of an AI startup and also joined Amazon as a senior Gen AI PM. And Hadika shared her step-by-step -step examples how she broke into Gen AI PM in Amazon. And you can check out her full interview right here. And all, all of them did the following three steps. Number one, you must learn all the important Gen AI knowledge. This sounds quite simple. However, the ocean of Gen AI is very deep. And there are several entry-level Gen AI terms and as what advanced gen AI on knowledge. For example, you need to learn what is AI, uh, what is machine learning, deep learning, gen AI, prompt engineering, data pipeline, what is a rack, and what is a vector database, as well as very advanced gen AI. For example, land chain agent, conversational agent, AI UX design, AI scalability, and uh, ML ops. And all those key concepts, and there are so many different courses and YouTube videos teach you all those important concepts. And for example, the one that I highly recommend is Prompt Engineering by Deep Learning the AI. There's also 20 minutes YouTube video introducing what is generative AI, what is Manchin, and you should check out all those different videos and courses. I'm going to link it in the description of this video as well. I also collect the top eight free AI courses for all the product managers to get started. You can go to this website to download all the top eight courses and start learning for free right away. For example, right now, you should know the strengths and weaknesses and differences between 
different kind of existing models out there. For example, the popular OpenAI model, Cloud Sonnet, Gemini, open source model like Llama, and as well as a JetGPT 4.0 mini model as well. And the space and all the models have been changing every single day. The best way to really get updated information about all the models is by subscribing to some newsletter. And my favorite newsletter is called Batch by Deep Learning the AI. And I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. Everyone should just subscribe and learn the most, some and start learning, get updated for free. Step three is work with group of engineers and data scientists to find tune this existing model. You don't need to start from scratch because there's so many models existing out there. What you need to do is play with API and do different kind of multi-model model integration, being able to train the real life use cases so that you gain all the hands-on experience deploying those models. And this, the hands-on experience is extremely important because once you go out for generative AI interviews, the hiring manager is going to ask you those questions. Uh, when was the last time it, you deployed an AI model? How did you deal with data shifting. Tell me your experience creating the data pipeline. What challenges did you conquer when you train and fine-tune and integrate all those models together? Who else is working in your team to create those models? And those are very hands-on detail implementation-based questions. So you must really gain those hands-on experience or there's no way you're able to land those Gen AI PM job at all because the competition is that strong and the recruiting bar is very high. And this kind of requirement is actually very standard. And same thing as, let's say you start to learn piano and you learn all the theoretical knowledge, how to hit different keys, how to read the music notes, but being able to play Mozart level is very different from knowing how to play piano. So therefore, your hands-on experience working with a group of people is what hiring managers are looking for. So I highly urge everybody to really form a team of people, start fine-tune and those models and gain hands-on experience as a Gen AI product manager. If you're not able to find your friends and developers very quickly, you should check out different kind of AI product management bootcamp. For example, inside of AI product management bootcamp of PM Accelerator, we already have a team of 100 different software engineers and data scientists and ready to be matched with product managers and will also teach you advanced AI knowledge as well as AI product management knowledge for you to learn the skills and apply all your knowledge. And our first cohort actually launched eight real life AI product and some of them already have early adopters. And the very fun things we have done is that people were able to turn a picture of someone's kitchen into an AI generated brand new kitchen design. You can learn more about AI PM Bootcamp in the description of this video as well. The second way to become a Gen AI PM is for people to do internal transfer into Gen AI space within a current company. And this is actually the quite popular way for existing product managers or non-product managers of your current company. You could be data scientist, engineer, marketer, or product managers and who just trying to break into AI, but your existing company is trying to think about what do we do with AI and whether it is the right methodology for us to create a brand new AI product. And this is a great opportunity for you to take the thought leadership in the AI space and create those kind of AI roadmap for your current company. If you want to do internal transfer, there are four ways to make it happen. Number one, you must learn the end-to-end -end AI product management lifecycle skills. So now I really want to emphasize that there's a huge difference between traditional product management lifecycle and as well as AI product management lifecycle because the AI product management lifecycle has the following key steps. Number one, you must create the AI product management strategy using the Gucci framework. And then you go into AI hypothesis to figure out is AI the right methodology to actually solve the problem for customers? Or does AI sounds easy to use, but very hard to collect data and fine tune and implement? Number three, you move into the traditional product management lifecycle space, which is building MEP, working with engineers to create the product. I guarantee you today, a lot of traditional product managers doesn't know how to do AI product management and also AI hypothesis, and also how to verify AI hypothesis without even writing a single line of code. I guarantee you today, a lot of existing AI product managers doesn't even know how to create an AI product management roadmap and doesn't even know how to verify the AI hypothesis. So therefore, I recommend everybody check out this video right here and where I give you the blueprint of complete roadmap to gain the Gen AI experience to check out more things right here and also learn the end-to-end product management lifecycle skills right away.
The second step is learn how Gen AI fit into existing ecosystem of your own company. In this step, you must understand your existing roadmap and customer pain point of your company and then gain hands-on experience playing with different kind of AI tools and AI framework. For example, you can fine-tune your own Gen AI model and you can use stable diffusion to generate different kind of graphics. And on based on your final application, you can choose what kind of models and framework is going to fit your unique needs. Step 3 is by working with internal engineering team to get it done. Even if your marketer or finance or your product manager was in the existing company, it's very critical once you have your own idea or product and fine-tune some models, you must work with existing engineer to quickly build some MEP so that you know this is actually something gonna work because lots of existing product manager in the company talk about high-level ideas but when they talk about implementation, they don't know how to make it happen. If you don't know how to work with internal engineering team, you should check out this video where I talk about day in life AI product manager so that you know how the interaction look like. I'm also linking in the description of this video. Step number four is AI evangelism. Once you created your own AI ideas that can integrate with existing product roadmap, you must gain executive buy-in and also get alignment with different departments within the company. It could be security and IT, finance, and everybody needs to be on the same page. And actually, AI evangelism is the least to talk about in the product management space because in reality, you will see lots of people so afraid the jobs will be replaced by AI. So it's gonna get lots of pushbacks when you deploy all your AI models. Inside the AI product management bootcamp, we teach a lot about end to end AI product management lifecycle and AI evangelism. You can actually start learning for free by watching all those videos right here. If you like all the blueprints and practical steps I share with you, make sure like this video so that I have motivation to create lots of free organic content for all of you guys. Now let's continue. The third way to become Gen AI PM is for people who want to start from scratch, who has no product management experience or no AI experience at all. And there is a shortcut to make it happen, to hit two birds with one stone and most people do not give a try and it's actually quite simple. Follow me through the steps. First of all, you must learn AI and product management skills at the same time because you need to know PM, you also need to know AI to become an AI product manager but you're able to have a shortcut by only learning the most important product management skills related to AI product management we learn all those AI knowledge as I mentioned make sure to download the top eight AI courses of product managers to learn all those advanced AI knowledge such as Manchan, AI UX design conversational agents and what is a rack and vector database those are all very critical skills you must master right away of course also take a lot of product management training and I have a lot of free training on my YouTube channel to teach you product management for free. Make sure to check out those videos as well. And the next step is actually to gain hands-on AI product management experience. Now here is the shortcut. The best way to gain those AI product management experience by using two ways. Number one, if you're currently a still student, you can easily work with a team of classmates and people with different background, engineering background, data scientist background, marketing background, or AI UX design background, and all of them just create an AI product right away and trying to gain some early adopters using your AI product right away. And you will be surprised to find out lots of people are willing to work on AI product together even for free because everybody just want to break into AI right now. The second way to quickly gain AI experience is by volunteering for startup and help them to leverage AI to grow their product. For example, our student Priya was able to land three AI internships just by volunteering for an AI startup. Of course, if you want to fast track your pass into AI product management, and you can directly join an AI product management bookend and to learn all the AI knowledge and product management skills together and also get access to a team of 100 software developers and we already have within the AI product management bookend. It's going to fast track your success and get you into Gen AI space much faster. If you're interested in learning more about our AI product management bookend, you can go to this website to download our syllabus and join me in our free AI product management workshop to learn more. The step one of becoming a generative AI product manager is actually learning AI right away and also start to figure out what's the best opportunity to gain all the hands-on experience and therefore make sure to watch this video where I give you the complete roadmap a step-by-step guide to learn Gen AI and also gain Gen AI experience right away. If you like any of the free resources we provide today, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. This is Dr. Nancy D from PMAccelerator.io. I'm gonna see you in my next video right here.